Let me give you a trick how to use the information matrix to overview multiple values on an information code on master data information. But first of all, I need to set the scene so we'll have a scenario to speak from because it's a little complex to understand the issue here. As an example, if we look at our customer list, we have different customers. The first one, the bike master in Chicago. If we look at the master data information here on the specification, the chain relation is bike master, whereas if I look at future bikes in Dusseldorf at my specification, the chain relation is future bikes. Now I would like to pair items to the different customers, meaning I would like to enter somewhere in Business Central which items I can sell to which customers. Therefore, on my items, I would like to add which change I can sell this item for. Meaning, on my city bike, for example, I would like to add a specification. This one can be sold for discount bike, Kmart, and the Bike Master, but there's only three here, meaning I'm not selling this one to future bikes, if that was the last one. To be able to add several information code with different information value, you need to set up in the information setup, information code list in here. You need to define in this example, my chain relation has a check mark on the right hand side and the column allowed multiple information values. That check mark determines that you can add more than one information code for the same item, customer vendor, whatever. And then I use the, I'm cheating a little, using the value field, just adding an X because then I can use the information matrix. This means from the item list, if I enter my information matrix, I have to find a template where I can define columns with the same information code, but filter on discount bikes, future bikes, you can see in brackets, Kmart and Bike Master. That means the matrix template is defined like this. The first column, master data information. I'm looking at value, not the information value. Even though the information value is the drop down list, I add the value for chain relation, and then it has a filter on the information value discount bikes. And in the next column, I'll do the same, but filter on the information value future bikes. So you can see here on the drop down list the information value because my table field is chain relation using master data information. This way, if I'm looking at item number 1010, it has no X's, no, no uh, thing entered in here, meaning there's no data. So if we just take a look at item 1010, as for now, 1010, and I'm going into my specification, I expect there will be no chain relations defined in here. Whereas if I enter my information matrix again, and item 1010, I will say this one I could sell for future bikes or for bike master. I'm just adding an X here because I'm just entering something, meaning it will update and create a line for information code chain relation, information value future bikes, and then value X. I could have added uh, whatever uh, in here. So if, if I entered whatever, it will just look like this, meaning when I look at my item 1010, now, master data specification, it's added those three chain relation, one of them being whatever, which is not very nice, of course, so I prefer to write an X or a figure one or uh, whatever you like. But this way, it's possible to get an overview in an information matrix where you can have all your different chains or your different customers and all your items down and you can mass update. So maybe all my bikes is sold for the chain relation discount bikes, then I could just add values to lines, place a check mark and X in the first one and say okay and this will mass update all of those for that chain relation here. So now I can sell these items to all my discount bikes. So this is a simple way of getting an overview and to mass update several information value in the information matrix.